Hello and welcome back cosmonauts to another episode of Cosmic Cast, a show that somehow started after how to even faction started up again. How does that even happen? The show is so much better. Uh anyways, let's go ahead and start out this episode 7 with a bang here and we're going to first be talking about the intergalactic raid event. That is correct. We have a second intergalactic raid event coming up. It is going to be, it's titled Season 1 for some reason. Uh, so I believe that the first one was more of a trial run, obviously, but I didn't think they were going to try it, call it something like that. But now that we have confirmation that intergalactic raid event number 2 is called Season 1, that means that this is the first official one and they believe they've worked out all the bugs and everything. Um, so we're going to start with the details on that. It is a speed raid event, and it hosts all planets. So uh, how this one is working is, is you will need to raid the admin box that is on your planet to be entered to win. Um, you have to raid the admin box by December the 8th, and you have to record and submit it on the forums. Uh, once that happens, you'll be entered into the uh, intergalactic raid event. Uh, you'll It'll be somebody from your faction plus two other people because uh, there are teams of three and you will be entered the raid event which is on Saturday December 10th at 2 p.m. Uh, CST or Central Standard Time and you basically just have to raid the uh, base that's on the uh, raid planet as fast as you can and the first through third person to raid it get prizes so the top three people uh, in the first place, you get $150, a hashtag split title, and 1.5 mil on your planet. Uh, the hashtag split title goes over to all planets um, so that you can use it if you on any planet. Um, the second place prize is $75, get rated, which again goes, all to, goes to all planets as a title. And then 750 k on your home planet. And then third is $25, a can energy kit, and 250 k on your planet. And there will also be spectators again this time around. They are, you can either buy them from the store, which should open up here pretty soon uh, in the next couple of days. Um, the seats are limited, and there's also going to be giveaways done through um, Wolfles and TBR Frags, as well as uh, it just says giveaways in general, so I don't know exactly what they mean by that. And to follow up on the Intergalactic Great Event, Jungle's Admin Box was indeed rated by Carnation slash Easy Peas. Don't know exactly who uh, claimed rating it and like got all of the got the qualification to go through which faction it was. Um, but I do believe it was Carnation, and I think they're, if Napa Drewster is in Carnation, then I believe that they are sending um, him to go and raid. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is a suggestion by D Tortoise called Utility Spawners. And so basically they are spawners that spawn um, in items that are helpful for making bases or raiding factions or things like that, such as uh, Obi, Sand, TNT, and he also put witches on there to get potions from. Not exactly sure how that helps with uh, base and rating, but, you know, potions. Um, he says that these spawners, they have very slow spawn rates, and you can upgrade them three times. The third time would put them at 100%, so basically each time is a 33% increase. The next thing that we're going to be talking about is a divine immolation poll that recently closed. And it was basically to see whether Divine Immolation would stay as it is or get nerfed by 33%. And the majority vote was to nerf it by 33%. Uh, I haven't seen any posts on this recently to see whether the nerf did go through or not. Um, but I guess we will just have to wait and see. So the next thing that we have is from strafe underscore left, and it is messaging color codes. Now this used to be able on Cosmic. You could message people... Um, things in color code as well as the um, random changing number symbol when you do the I think it's and an I or something like that and an L you could uh, do the one that flashes the different symbols up there um, now this was useful for item name tags is why they were suggesting it so you could see an item name tag um, by messaging it to yourself is where they wanted you to send it messaging it to yourself so that you could see the colors beforehand um, now I always just tried this out with the fact with my faction title 
um, just changing my faction title over and over again, but I know everyone can't do that since not everyone is a mod in their faction. Um, so I would indeed like to see the return of messaging color codes because it's kind of difficult now to plan out your item name tag because you don't know exactly how it's going to respond uh, on Cosmic and you don't can't send them anywhere. So yeah, don't want to waste an item name tag. And the final thing that we're going to be going over was... Um, premium planet a suggestion that was made that would reduce trainee hackers so it's basically a planet that you pay for uh, you either pay 25 to 50 dollars uh, unless you have a top rank then you get in for free um, and you basically get onto the planet everyone has the same perms it's kind of like the uh, competitive planets where they do everyone has fourth rank permissions plus their flight and their claims and um but it's a normal cosmic planet with the custom enchants and custom all that kind of stuff not like a vanilla planet and there are basically idea was to reduce training hackers and alting in this one and so yeah that's kind of a good idea i guess uh, i could see um it would definitely reduce the amount of training hackers especially since unbans became purchasable and for our final story, we're going to go ahead and send it on over to Moab Beach with a new segment we are calling The Stupid Spotlight. Moab? Thank you, Moab. And here we are. We are currently with our turkey friend. And so today's Stupid Spotlight will actually fall onto Stiff Arm OG. Now, I was tipped off by this story from It's I Waffles. He did indeed tell me that yesterday they were working on a base. They just got the corner claim on jungle, and uh, Stiff Arm was trying to unclaim a cannon that he had nearby, and instead of doing F unclaim, he did F unclaim all, and they completely unclaimed their entire base for a little bit, and they had to scramble to reclaim it all. So remember kids, F unclaim and F unclaim all are two separate commands. And do not be like Stiff Arm and unclaim your entire faction's base. That is it for today's spotlight. We're going to send it back on over to Moab, and he is going to send us away. Moab? Alrighty, and thank you, Moab, for that interesting story. Wow, what a shame. Unclaiming the entire base. Well, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy the return of Cosmic Cast. And for now, we will see you guys next time. And until then, see you all later. Peace.